Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So as per tradition, today I'm going to be talking you through my yearly makeup favourites. This year I thought I'd do it in the form of a full face of makeup favourites. Um, and basically this year you will probably have noticed that in my makeup tutorials I just haven't really been changing the products a lot. So I kind of thought that I'd just do an updated makeup tutorial but talk you through the products and show you how I apply them. I've also got a couple of fragrance favourites for the end so do keep watching if you want those and if you want skincare I will link my most recent skincare routine and I'll probably do an updated winter one, winter to spring coming up. 2020 baby, 2020. But yeah, I'm gonna go in order of application and talk you through everything, so let's get into it. So to start off, this was a last minute addition into my 2019 makeup favorites because I've only had this for a couple of months now, I wanna say three months, something around that. It's the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening Serum in the shade Sunny Flash, Brightening CC Serum, sorry. In the shade Sunny Flash, this is such an amazing like no makeup makeup product. I use this a lot when I don't actually want to do makeup, but I also don't want to be asked if I'm ill. We've all been there when your mum's like, oh, you're looking a bit pale. And you're like, this is what I look like without makeup on. Thank you, mother. Love you, mum. I really love this. I bought this on Lydia Millen's recommendation and it is freaking good like so so good it just gives the most gorgeous tint to your skin it gives a real glow like a proper glow i'm gonna be honest the chanel watery foundation i can't remember what it's called um would have been in this one's place had i not picked this up and this just blew me away and it blew out the water this is slightly thicker and i think that's why the glow really really stays and you just look so luminous and it gives your face just so much definition without giving any coverage at all without really like covering too much but it just kind of smooths over everything it's just very perfecting it's that ultimate like no makeup makeup product and i love it i can see why it's always bloody sold out so i apply that with my fingers and blend it over my skin i do sometimes use a brush but i find it tends to eat it up quite quickly uh so if you don't want to waste product i definitely recommend popping it onto your hands or onto the back of your hand and applying with your fingers and i just think things blend and melt a little bit better when you use your fingers as well now for actual foundation i am such a foundation flitter like i never really stick to one at all so i'm throwing in my most recent purchase because it is an old favorite and i'm pretty sure it's been in a yearly favorites before and i picked it back up and i was like yeah yeah, this is what I've been missing. I have used so many foundations this year. Lots that I've really liked, but this one, when I went back to it, I was like, this is it for me. This is it. I also use the YSL Touche Eclat foundation, which I do really love. I kind of fell out of love with the All Hours foundation over the course of the year. But the Touche Eclat definitely is a runner up to this. This I would say is better though. It's better for my skin on a daily basis. I don't find it clogs my skin at all, which is mad because there's very few foundations that i really find don't have any impact whatsoever on my skin but this one really doesn't i've got the shade six which is medium medium and it is a really good match for my skin tone i think i could probably do with a 6.5 to a 7 during the summer months but it's bloody good it just is that instagram filter kind of effect on your skin it's so so beautiful by the way sorry if i sound really bunged up i've got like sod slow the second i sit down to film i got extra like grim with my cold so i'm now just feel like i'm gargling at you i apply this with my charlotte tilbury foundation little buffing brush thing blends so beautifully you can layer it up as well if you want more coverage without using concealer or you can just apply a very thin light layer and it just gives this like really gorgeous luminous glow with one layer but it doesn't like completely cover and it doesn't feel heavy it just feels light and like melts into your skin and it's so bloody beautiful if a product makes me feel like that it deserves to be in the favorites everything else this year has just been very lackluster like great stuff but just like nothing that i'm like incredibly passionate about and that foundation i really am so i literally have not used anything else since i picked this up like i can't even remember what i used before i don't know what i did before you what did i do without you this is the tarte shape tape concealer it's brilliant at first i really wasn't into it i did not love it i even tweeted being like right i don't want to be that asshole that just doesn't like a product doesn't get the hype without asking everybody first what they thought and quite a few people came back with different recommendations and m ford came back with leave it to set on your skin for a couple of like seconds up to anything up to a minute i do now i just pop it onto my skin and i kind of leave it and I don't blend straight away and it almost like starts to stick and it thickens so that you can like really cover with it because I just found that this wasn't getting the coverage that everyone says leave it 10 seconds 10 to 60 seconds depending on how much you want it to be there 
my god it covers so well so in the cutaways you can see me applying it onto my skin that just has the viteri cellular rose on it and then i think i also have a clip of me later applying it over the charlotte tilbury foundation as well so you can see kind of how well it covers i do find though that if you don't kind of leave it to set enough the makeup that you put on over the top can kind of disturb it so sometimes i actually like to mix this with like darker products or pinkier products and apply it over the top of my actual finished makeup as well but doing that really gives the most incredibly flawless finish like it blows me away it does a really good job at dark circles as well you don't even need to use very much i use kind of a dot on each of my kind of under eye areas i take it quite far down i don't blend too far up because i'm going to put eyeshadow there anyway but i blend quite far down and it just brightens without having to like really go for a very very light color i have the shade 35h medium honey it covers really really well without being heavy and without being like unnatural and like masky and like it's just put a complete layer over your skin it just makes it look like your skin is better but in the most flawless glam way what it isn't is that Elemasca concealer where you can basically cover tattoos with it it is not that level coverage but it is flawless it looks incredible under flash photography if you ever see me looking like very 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 dull like with flash photography it's because i have used this and the photo has been taken it just kind of really it's it's incredible so yeah i actually have backups of this which i'm very happy about i managed to pick it up in the sephora the one outside disneyland paris and I picked up a couple and I'm very glad I did because I am in love with this. I'm very, very thankful to everyone on Twitter that gave me their tips for how to use this as well because I would have just given up on this if I hadn't tweeted, so thank you. Wow, that was a long ramble about a concealer. I am so sorry. Next up, we have contour and this is also a foundation kind of mention as well. I really love the foundation of this. Um, well, this is a foundation. Anyway, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick. That's such a mouthful when you've got cold. I have one foundation that seems to have a sticker on both ends but I'm pretty sure this is shade 10 I use this for my contour it blends like a dream and it also adds a little bit more coverage as well because it obviously is a foundation stick which is great because it just adds to the flawless finish it kind of stops my concealer underneath and foundation being disturbed too much because it's still kind of building on top of what you've already got on so my concealer doesn't tend to move too much when i apply this over the top it's all just kind of meshing together really nicely mesh that's a funny word it reminds me of moist but anyway i pop this on my cheekbones temples nose under my chin and i blend it all out and really try and kind of get that blend really really seamless and work on it for quite a bit using an it cosmetics foundation brush i believe which is literally falling apart i've just ordered some new brushes because all of my brushes are disgusting and i don't even mean in the dirty sense i just mean like they are the bristles are like falling out and poking into my eyes it's horrific but anyway the contour it literally is so creamy it blends and melts into your skin so beautifully it buffs out so well and the color is really great as well i do use a bronzer over the top just to set it and keep everything where it should be but it has been my go-to contour this year and i don't see myself switching anytime soon if i'm very honest so yeah love that so much and i don't really feel like i have anything more to say about it apart from it's great i really i i have no words it's great the proof is in the pudding i use it every single day every day i just love it okay i'm gonna include a highlighter this is definitely a more recent like end of the year product for me and it's not one that i've been using every single day but in terms of highlighter i really haven't used highlighter very much this year at all and this is the only one that i'm really actually interested in at all it's the glossier future dew um oil serum hybrid i do not use this in any way shape or form of skincare as you will see in the cutaways i actually use this with a very small uh what used to be fluffy eyeshadow brush it is no longer fluffy it's like just dewy future dewy and i blend that over the high points of my face over my cheekbones the kind of little bit of my bridge in between my on my nose in between my eyes hang on my boyfriend is calling me okay back in the room that little bit here in between my eyeballs on my nose <laughs> um temples chin sometimes my collarbone you know that the whole shindig and it basically just applies this very glossy layer over your skin which isn't you know glittery at all it's not shimmery it's just basically like a gloss for your face that isn't going to break you out like lip gloss would like vaseline would like all of those very like grim based products it is just stunning i really like it it just gives a really natural highlight and makes your skin look dewy rather than using a dewy foundation and then powdering your face a lot 
I don't have to powder my face ever. I mean, I'm really anti-powder, but this kind of allows me to have a more matte satin finish everywhere else and then gloss just where I want it. And I love it. It's so pretty. This, I'm sure some of you could have guessed it. This is my favorite eyeshadow of the year. It's the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. I love this. I also picked this up at the same time. I picked up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I did a very, very big Sephora haul. I've actually done two very big Sephora hauls this year. It's actually kind of sickening. No more next year. Not doing this anymore. <laughs> I'd say that. I definitely just bought a load of uh, KKW Beauty makeup to test out. So if you want to see my thoughts on that, subscribe and turn on your notifications and do all the things because this channel's great and it deserves the subs. Shameless plug over, back to my eyeshadow palette. I love this. There are a number of shades. I, hopefully I'll be able to circle them on the cutaway. A number of shades that I just use religiously. I mean, you can probably tell which ones because they're the ones that have like serious indents in them, but it just allows me to have this very neutral, neutral glam, subtle, smoky eye look or eyeshadow look it's not even really that smoky basically i apply a base neutral all over the eyelid and then i apply afternoon delight and embrace me onto the outer part and then i take full hard and dm me on a tiny pencil brush and kind of like blend that through the outside all of the product is like basically built up apart from that initial shade on the outer corners of my eye and i go quite heavy if i'm honest and one of my favorite things to do lately is go quite heavy on the outer corner almost to the point where it like looks a bit too much and a bit shit and then i take a big fluffy brush and i take my initial base color and i blend that all over the top of what i've just kind of like built up and it just blends like a dream i also like to use the two darker shades in the palette over the outer corner of my lash line it looks amazing it thickens up your lashes just gives them that really fluttery look what also gives them the really fluttery look is the mascara that i'm going to talk about in a second which i feel like you're all gonna have known about already because alana spoilt it for all of you actually for those of you that share an audience with us. But I'll get to that in a second. The final step before I move on to my very fluttery lashes is to use a nude liner. I've been using this one from Colourplop. Colourplop? Colourplop, yeah. Yes, Colourplop. <laughs> it's actually, this is so loved that all of the writing has come off. So it's basically just a very plain nude pen right now. But I have loved, this is so pigmented. I have loved using it on my lower waterline to kind of really clean everything up. I just think it makes such a difference, especially now that I've been wearing a uh, bottom lash mascara. It stays on for a very, very, very long time. I very rarely have to touch it up. It's creamy, pigmented, literally everything you want in a nude liner. I'm intrigued to see how the KKW nude liner holds up next to this. I'm intrigued, but we'll see. It's probably all been made in the same factory. Anyway, fluttery lashes. You will have seen me talk about this so many times. This is basically the only mascara I've used since about April time. It's amazing i love it so in the cutaways you'll see i kind of start off by basically using a pulling motion or a swiping motion with the tip of the brush onto my lashes i pop all of the mascara just exactly on the lashes that i want it to be on almost individually and then kind of go through and blend it all out with the actual mascara wand as you would normally i also concentrate it a lot on my inner corners which i never used to do before i'd always concentrate on the outer corners and give that like cat eye look but actually I love concentrating the bulk of my mascara at the front as well as the rest of the lash because I just find it gives the most fluttery, almost like false lash look. It just looks like I have lash extensions a lot of the time now, just like shorter ones, not longer ones. It just makes my whole lash line look so full and so fluttery and it gives me a lot of control as well being able to use the tip of it it's got a really good tip for applying mascara just where you want it and i also use that same method on my bottom lashes as well and it just makes everything look so fluttery and so pretty and i'm in love with it it's the only mascara i've used for such a long time now and i used to use it in conjunction with my ysl the curler mascara actually I've just been using this on its own for such a long time and that's so rare that I don't mix mascaras. I'm a serial mascara mixer so for me to not be doing that is really speaks volumes about this mascara. Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara, you all need to try it at least once. Now for brows, I remember earlier in the year I was loving the Hourglass, what are these called? Brow Micro Sculpting Pencils. I really love this. It's got a spoolie on one end, super super handy and then a really tiny micro nib on the other end. Once that ran out, I did still have backups, but I actually moved on to the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, partly because um, I'd obviously gone blonde and was getting blonder and blonder and blonder over the summer. And I used the shade Ash Brown from Anastasia and it was actually doing like pretty good things for not making my 
brows too dark because that was something I was really struggling with was being blonde and then my brows being very very dark and things were not matching up with my old products so I had to make a switch and I decided to go for this and I really like it I do sometimes feel like it's easier to go overboard with a pomade but actually you can do such a light look with it or you can go a little bit like heavier I've definitely changed the way I do my brows a lot this year when I look back I'm like holy smokes like that was that was a lot that and the eyeliner was a lot I'm so used to seeing myself like this now it's really weird looking back at my old makeup but I love the slightly less defined brow I then use the uh L'Oreal brow sculpt no I really can't remember the name of it but it's in the cutaway brow arch sculpting something that brow gel I use that over the top and use it to tint my brows and make them super super fluffy and I really like that look so the combination of those two together is a winner and I really love the brow pomade but it's very rare that I have a blush favorite but I really love this product I picked it up in Sephora in LA when I spent my like almost month-long stint out there and was bored out of my mind I went shopping a lot and I picked up the Kaja Kaja. It's like a bouncy cushion blush thing and it's got this weird ass heart sponge in the top. I never use that. Never ever ever. But the little sponge in the bottom, the blush colour, it's shade one koi. It's so pretty. It just suits my skin tone so well. It's that perfect like dusky warm rosy pink but it's not too warm, not too dark, not too pinky. It's just absolutely perfect. Not too corally, just that like bang in the middle, neutral blush shade that my skin works really, really well with. I love that it's a cushion format because I just love cushion liquidy products, like the sheerer and creamier the better really. It builds up so well, I use a little MAC stippling brush and just stipple that into my skin and I kind of go along with my contour line and the shape of my cheekbones so all of my kind of products blend in this like downward motion like this I find that's just what seems to suit my face shape the best at the moment so I love using that I don't use it every day but it is my go-to blush and I really don't use any other blushes like I need to throw all the rest out I mean I have two others so actually I might as well just put them in my makeup kit and use them on other people basically when I say throw out I mean retire to the makeup kit to be used on everybody else except me because I could see the use blush and then over that and over the rest of my face I've been using the Natasha Denona contour sculpting powder I love this. I picked this up in January and haven't really used any other bronzers since, aside from my MAC Get Me Some bronzer, which is a permanent addition in my makeup bag. Always has been, always will be. I love it. But this I use every single day, whereas the other one I just kind of use if I want to look a bit more tanned or just kind of like if I'm not feeling great and I want to warm up my face a little bit because it looks like it's dying. It's very, very pigmented, quite dark. Like I think I picked up, yeah shade four dark i was feeling ballsy that day apparently but i use a small amount really blend it out it works beautifully on my skin tone like works really really well isn't too warm at all but isn't too cool toned either i blend this all over like my forehead um down through my cheekbones i apply it on my cheekbones with the tip of my it cosmetics um angled brush and then use the base of the brush like the whole brush to like blend out and it just it's just a really really nice blend that you get with it i think the combination of this and that angle brush is a real winner like just kind of chiseling it in and then blending it all out just works so perfectly i obviously pop it on my ears down through my jaw bone i apply it all around my kind of jaw line and down onto my neck but i actually pop it um more onto my face either side of my chin just to give a little bit more definition and a little bit more shape to my face i find being on camera a lot that works really really beautifully so trick for nights out that is how you give yourself a bit more of a jaw shape if you don't actually have one because my jawline is very naturally round like i could be a skeleton and my jaw <laughs> my jaw shape would be round the bone the bone structure is just round on my face so yeah i like to just pop that either side of my chin it's just a really great contour powder like stays is pigmented couldn't ask for more blends beautifully it's a fucking top product and that is it for most of my face now for my lips i've used mac stone lip liner basically all year this is probably the first day today that i'm not wearing it and i do feel a bit weird not wearing it i'm not gonna lie i went in with my second favorite today which is a newer edition but i couldn't not shout about this i don't really make beauty videos as much now so i don't get to shout about products as much as i'd like but this has been a standout and i've been using this constantly since i picked it up it's the charlotte tilbury lip cheat in the shade iconic nude 
has been literally all I have worn and I just know that the combination of these two is probably going to end up in next year's favourites unless something else really blows me out the water because they are fab and both of them together combined kind of make up my MAC Mariah Carey lip liner which I love so much and have been like banging on about so much like the two of them together are basically that lip liner which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and I'm very sad about it. So yeah the combination of the two are like my favourite thing ever and are like making up my 2019 fave as one well. and my favourite lipstick none of you will be surprised is max hug me which is so small so small literally i haven't got this far down on a mac lipstick since hue in like 2011 2010 long time ago started off the decade with mac hue now we at hug me i love hug me it's just a beautiful like brownie creamy slightly pinky nude but very much like a brownie nude and it is beautiful like works really well with my skin tone it's almost like a, li a little bit more cool toned and i really like that because you very rarely find a nude that is like that level cool toned it's not like the whole nine yards cool toned it's just like this perfect kind of like in the middle of it's not warm but it's not like gray and it works really beautifully with my skin tone and i'm very very happy with it and i've loved that literally all year i remember starting off the year being really obsessed with it. I think it might have even made it into my 20, what was last year, 2018 favorites. So yeah, that is how much I have loved that and have not stopped loving it. That and half and half, I do really like, but it's much warmer, but that is like my number one. But my MAC lipsticks I have really loved this year. Um, also shout out to the ColourPop liquid lipstick that I have, which I can't find and I can't remember the name of, but that has also been heavily worn this year like i actually think it's like just starting to dry up and it's breaking my heart a little bit so yeah shout out to that as like a runner-up i have a lot of runner-ups like the Too faced peachy uh lipstick in sunday fun day is it sunday fun day yeah that stunning like cool tone nude but very very pigmented i honestly i just love it i could do a whole video all on lipsticks i bloody love them but it's not what this video is about I'm gonna round up now with two fragrance favorites. Number one is by Rado's Blanche, which I am just obsessed with. It is stunning. It smells like clean cotton. It is so fresh, so light, but so like very noticeable at the same time, but without being overpowering, without making people go, oh, it's just beautiful. It's like that smell that you wanna smell more of. And then All Saints Sunset Riot. I love this so much. It really does melt into my skin so nicely and it's almost to the point where I don't really think about it too much. Like I smell it, but I just feel like it's more of a me smell than I'm wearing a perfume and that's amazing. And everyone that smells this on me is like, you smell incredible. Like, and people really smell it throughout the day as well, which shows that even though I'm not smelling it too much, like I'm a little bit aware of it, but not too badly. Like when I sit down to have my nails done, they always smell it. When I get into a car, whoever I'm in the car with always like smells it and comments on it. It's been my number one. All Saints Fragrances. Ooh, this is Squirrel. Oh. All Saints Fragrances have been my number one favorite discovery of 2019. I keep forgetting the year. <laughs> number one favorite discovery of 2019 with regards to fragrances because I've just been blown away. Like they're really, in terms of like the grand scheme of perfume on the more affordable side of like great perfumes and i just i can't fault them like the longevity the really unique scents they've blown me away so that is rounding up my 2019 makeup favorites i hope you've all enjoyed this waffle i know i'm not going to enjoy editing this because i just can't speak anymore and i need food and i need a nap nana needs a nap christmas has ruined me i don't know where the productive me went but she is not here right now so i need to get my shit together for 2020 because i'm coming back with all of the videos and i'm very very excited so yeah i really hope you've enjoyed this 2019 makeup roundup hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye bye Thank <laughs> you.